Hello and uh, welcome to uh, this week's uh, Monday Morning Musing on the 4th of January 2016. It's a dry, uh, overcast, coolish day here in Manchester, so uh, sounds like a good day for a muse. Anyway, Happy New Year. Um, this is the first video obviously, well I don't know whether it's the first, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, it must be the first video of 2016 because the other one went out on New Year's Eve, didn't it? About the trains, so... Um, yeah, hope you all had a good New Year and uh, a good Christmas. Um, my Christmas has been pretty good, uh, with no major upsets or anything like that. Uh, good haul, no old Christmas presents, and I've uh, been doing a bit of hobbying, so um, can't grumble really, can you? So, um, as we're talking about hobbying, uh, let's go and have a look at some of the hobbying that I've been doing. As you can see, the, uh, the late Romans are all but finished apart from their shields uh, I'm waiting for the stuff from uh, Little Big Man Studios to come it's always a bit of a wait with Little Big Man Studios uh, I always find that the order gets processed rather quickly and the uh, actual delivery can take quite a while a uh, quick update for those of you who are interested the uh, train, the uh, 08 over there uh, needs a new wiring loom um, I can't find an adapter to fit it, so I'm going to have to get a new uh, wiring loom for the, uh, the DCC chip, and the same with that engine there, the uh, the Cabaret Castle there, that needs a new new loom in it and all, so um, yeah, that's the progress of some of the projects. That's it for the Romans, uh, so look at some train stuff, for those of you that uh, could be possibly interested in the train stuff, it's not a great deal. As you can see from the uh, sawdust on the floor and the cuts, bits of cut wood, uh, there's been quite a bit of uh, goings on in the in the train room, and that can be seen over here. Um, I'm just building the uh, little raised bit. Sunken bit here is going to have the um, canal uh, wharf and all that sort of stuff in. Uh, pickles come in handy. Um, so yeah, more on that on the. Uh, the update, but that's one of the things I've been up to. So, um, yeah. And there we are. That's, um, that's everything that I've been up to uh, in the Christmas period. But without further ado, I'm just going to introduce what I want to be doing over the next uh, few weeks. Um, this is a project that uh, is a bit of a deviation from the um, Napoleonics. It's just a bit of a bit of a sort of, uh, how can you put it, boost to uh, to the monotony. Um, it's, I'm not stopping Napoleonics, don't don't worry about that, uh, but it's, I just, you know, change is as good as the rest, so uh, let's go and have a look at that then. Before Christmas I um, got hold of <coughs> a load of stuff from Legio Heroica for um, my, well for this project that we're, that, that's going to be taking up the first little part of the year. Uh, obviously it's Hail Caesar and um, I'll just show you what uh, what I got from, uh, from uh, Giuseppe over at uh, Legio Heroica um, it's quite a weighty bag one second and here we are um, I'll just tip these out as well it's going to make a bit of noise Right then, what we have here are uh, the beginnings of a 4th century Roman army. Uh, I'm going to be concentrating on the Eastern Empire, so uh, we'll be uh, doing a lot with the Sassanids and, and the like. So but I thought I'd start off with the Roman army. And the reason I've picked the 4th century is a lot of competition going on, a lot of, um, a lot of battles, should I say, uh, a lot of action, and um, it's not against Germans <laughs> per se it's more to do with the the, the Eastern empires and uh, North Africa and you know uh, you know the, the north the north uh, eastern Europe so I thought cool I'll get these and plus um, I can use them for an, you know an early, uh, late Roman early Byzantium army so it gives me quite a lot of scope 
Uh, anyway, so here we go. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all, but I'll just sort of basically just sort of say um, there's cavalry and infantry uh, at the moment. I've got uh, three types of cavalry uh, and uh, three types of infantry. I basically got the um, heavy infantry, if I can see any. If I can see any in the form of uh, these legionaries. He does um, Fields of Glory packs, uh, which is like 24 miniatures in a thing, in a, in, a, in a pack, and there are, I think these cost 13 euros for a unit. So that's the, that's, that's a unit. So um, I'm using 24 men to a unit. So uh, yeah, it's quite, they're quite effective at 15 millimeter. So that's like the heavy infantry, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, these are, let's have a look, equities or knights, um, basically medium cavalry. They are light infantry or auxiliary infantry. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, more. Equities. Um, trying to find, there you go. This is the um, what do they call them? The big buggers. I kind of the name has escaped me, but there you go. That's like a heavy mounted infantry. Um, uh, cataphract. Uh, more equities. Archers. More heavy infantry, more heavy infantry, that is again, and it just goes on, so basically you can see the sort of troop types that I've got, they're all sort of um, basically medium light, skirmish, I've got some command groups and a general, uh, yeah so there you go, it's uh, pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go th as I paint up each each troop type. I'm going to be um, having a look at the Legio Eroica figures for that particular uh, troop type, and we're going to do you know like uh, this is what they look like. Uh, this is the sort of thing you can expect in a pack, and this is what they look like painted. Well, painted by me anyway. So um, it's going to be a good few months. Uh, so back to me in the studio. Right then, so uh, that's the um, sort of side project that I'm going to do for the next couple of months, uh, just just to give you a bit of an intro there. Uh, it's fascinating stuff. I've been doing quite a bit of uh, reading around and whatnot, and um, it, it's uh, it's a great period. Anyway, um, I did say on um, my Wargaming Life, that we'd have a poll today to see what the next community project would be, but uh, as nobody actually put anything in, um, we can't do that, so uh, we won't be doing that today. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, uh, if you go to my Wargaming Life and uh, read the little message that comes up at the top, unless you've already dismissed it, and uh, let us know if you want a community project or not. Um, at the end of the day, my Wargaming Life is not uh, about anything other than the community. Uh, if if the community can't be bothered, then you know that's fine. Uh, we won't have a community project. So uh, if you can be bothered, go and uh, send go and go to my wargaming life and uh, make your suggestions, and we'll have a poll. All right, maybe next week. Uh, only takes it only takes three or four people to sort of make some suggestions. You know, um, but there you go. Uh, the other thing is, uh, obviously, we haven't had any questions for a while uh, to muse upon, so there's been no entertainment value. Um, if nobody wants to ask any questions, fine, don't. Um, I'll just keep the music short then. So, um, yeah, that's 2016. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs>